Welcome to the video. <laughs> I've been very interested to test Google's Gemini 2.5 Pro with DeepThink enabled against ChatGPT 5 Pro. Now, obviously, GPT-5 Pro just came out today, and you may think this is a little unfair because Gemini 2.5 Pro has been with us for a while. However, the DeepThink feature for Gemini was just released last week and did really represent a very significant jump in some of its capabilities. It was quite surprising to myself and some others that I spoke to who were able to use it. And beyond that, it actually generated a better result than I received today in my testing of ChatGPT-5 Pro for a 3D low poly racing game. So I think it is rather fair to actually compare these two head to head, being that they have been either updated or released around the same time frame. And beyond that, these are both locked behind fairly expensive subscriptions with access for Gemini's DeepThink being locked behind the $250 a month tier. And even then you only get to use it like five times for every 10 hours. And of course, ChatGPT Pro is $200 a month, but you do get a lot more use of this Pro model right here. So with that, we're going to give these two the same exact prompt um, around the same exact time, basically how long it takes me to paste and press enter into either of these browser tabs. And we'll go ahead and see what we actually get as a result. And hopefully this will give some insight into the performance of these models. While I am not going to read this prompt in its full verbosity on camera here, as that would become rather boring, I will just leave it up for a little so anyone who wants to really read through it can just pause the video and take a peek. But the core concept here is an advanced web-based 3D skateboarding physics simulator. Now this prompt, as I see there is kind of just a formatting error there, but it won't matter as much to the models as it does to us to actually kind of read through odd formatting. However, this is really testing their ability to not only do like design work, but physics implementation and also some fun game generation. The concept here is essentially to make a little rectangular skate park with a third person view of the skateboarder and give them the ability to kind of skate around, perform tricks, jump, and do things of that sort. So as you may be familiar with my channel, thank you, but you know that my prompts are not usually this long as I like to give the models a lot of freedom in what they do, but for this and that we're testing to, I suppose, heavyweights, I think it is fair to give them a very intricate and guided prompt. So with that, I must just go ahead here and find why the deep research, oh, it is right there, deep think. I get confused, with it. everyone uses deep, it's like, it gets confusing. So I'm going to paste that in right there, and I need to say to this one as well, make sure you actually put the game code in the response, because I did have issues with it where it did not do that once, and it used up some of my usage. And I will go ahead and just paste that into ChatGPT5 Pro. And basically, let's just go ahead and see what happens here. So we have them both going ahead right now. I will expand the details pane for GPT5 Pro, which is seemingly not doing much of anything. Even if I... Okay, so... <laughs> We'll just go ahead and kind of leave these. Now, based off of initial testing of these models, I would be fairly confident in betting that the Gemini DeepThink will be produced faster as GPT-5 Pro seems to take like 10 minutes around average for a response like this. But I'm just basically going to time lapse this. We'll see what comes up with what and how well these codes or this game actually works. Both models were hard at work, not knowing that their responses were ready to be viewed by thousands and perhaps tens of thousands if this video does better than average. All right, so we have our first finisher, which of course does not actually give us any insight into the quality of the generated result, but it did feel necessary and prudent to actually report that. So Gemini 2.5 Pro DeepThink has finished. Truthfully, I'm just going to not do anything until ChatGPT5 Pro finishes. All right, finally. After 12 minutes and 25 seconds, we received both answers, obviously with the DeepThink finishing far sooner than ChatGPT5 Pro. Now, truthfully, I don't want to, like, so here's the thing. I pay for both of these. This is not, like, sponsored content or anything like that. I test these models with real things, not like spoon-fed prompts that are designed to make the models look good that the companies will give you. Um, with that, 
I do want to just go ahead and try to do this in a random fashion where I look at these without knowing which result is from which model. So truthfully to do this, um, I am going to perhaps implement an odd form of uh, like getting this done, but it will make sense hopefully. So I'm going to write nano and then, okay. And then I'm not gonna look at the screen.html. I will paste it in, control O, control enter, and then clear the terminal. And then I will do the same exact thing. <laughs> for the Gemini DeepThink one right here. So let me go ahead and open the terminal once more. So nano, okay, and then <laughs> .html, and then <laughs> hopefully my system makes some level of sense. So I have no idea which script is named what. They're both named gibberish.html, therefore they will both open. However, I will not be aware of which one is actually which. With that, <laughs> let's just go ahead and I'll do this in Chrome because it's like more like I don't know, happy, you know what I mean. It's it's more widely supported, even though I'm more of a Firefox kind of guy myself. So let's go ahead and, oh, okay. So here we have two, like, all right. <laughs> oh, crap. Okay, this is, I know this depressing color palette is from 05, uh, is from GPT-5 Pro. There's no way this isn't. It does this. It makes like depressing colors, but I will say, shadows look good. Uh-oh. So... Oh, no state in air. Okay, is there a reset? Yes, there is. <laughs> hey, there is a staircase over there. I mean, I am going to be honest with you. My initial impression of this is that it is truthfully much better than I was fearing. I, I didn't know if like this video would be worthy of posting if the results were going to be bad. So unfortunately, we're not actually moving. Okay, so F is to kickflip, but you have to be in the air. But it does show my state as in air, so, so the kickflip works. Look at that kickflip. Like, uh, <laughs> I like this. I, I like skateboarding. I always was really quite terrible at it, but I have a great deal of love for um, skateboarding. Okay, well, I'm just going to make sure it's not like some keyboard jankiness. No, because then I... Yeah. All right, so unfortunately... That result is not the best, so let's go ahead and just open this one. <laughs> both actually somewhat similar. Huh, I don't actually know who did. Wow, they both failed in the exact same way, where <laughs> it just doesn't work. Let's try the kickflip on this one. Okay, so we're getting no kickflip here. We get no jump. This one is significantly worse than the other one. And like I said, the, the depressing color palette was something I noticed when testing GPT-5 Pro. So I would guess that this is a Google Gemini DeepThink result and the other is a 5 Pro result. But again, I don't actually know. So, well, disappointment across the board. However, um, this was kind of a quite excessive. Okay, so the reset works. Can I kickflip now because I'm in the air? No. All right, the other one did a much better job, I will say, even though they both didn't work. That one didn't work less. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, so let's see which is which. Okay, so this one was the one I just tested. Oh, that's just the prompt. I know it looked like I was like cheating here, but that was just the prompt that I had to format properly. Advanced 3D Skateboarding Physics Simulator. Advanced 3D Skateboarding Physics Simulator. Advanced Web-Based 3D Skateboarding Physics Simulator. All right. So, so 05, um, I'm going to get these confused the whole video. 5 Pro did a significantly better job than Gemini here with the DeepThink enabled, which is actually surprising to me because the result I did earlier today when testing 5 Pro originally was the same test that I'd given Gemini DeepThink and DeepThink did a significantly better job. So that's actually really kind of sad, but I suppose it bodes well for the brand new kid on the block performing well. Let's take another look at this gibberish. <laughs> yeah, this was, though it didn't actually work in terms of movement, it did still kind of have the kickflip and reset capability. We just couldn't actually move forward and backwards. So these, all right, 
being that I have more usage allotment for the deep think, which is really the one that will hit limits on sooner, I'm going to just try to get these to fix these to some measurable level of performance. So the downside I've noticed, and please correct me if I'm just making an egregious mistake here, is that DeepThink does seemingly not allow you to use it more than one time in a chat. So unfortunately, I think I just need to copy this code, tell it what's wrong, and make a new chat, and then have DeepThink fix it from that. So I've just told Gemini DeepThink that the camera is not working, the skateboard doesn't move, and the game functionality is broken, and I'm telling it to fix it. Hopefully it doesn't get upset about generating the code in line because sometimes it doesn't do that. So with ChatGPT, I will just go ahead and kind of give it the critique that it needs to perhaps, good lord. And we'll just ask that one to fix its issue. So kind of in the same vein, we'll go ahead and see what is done. I do believe DeepThink has encountered an issue where, okay, no. Okay, so the issue is with quaternions or however you would go about pronouncing those, but I am familiar with those from Unity Game Development. I should have specifically prompted the DeepThink to implement, like, to regenerate the fixed and updated script since uh, it seemingly sometimes <laughs> does not produce the actual code. So, okay, but in the meantime, ChatGPT 5 Pro has finished. It apologized, which it very much should have for that issue. Okay, here's a fixed single file. It's telling us what's wrong. Okay, the ground raycast had a bug. While DeepThink is just kind of doing its thing, and hopefully it does correctly do its thing, I will just go ahead and actually open this newly generated and hopefully fixed game. I'll open it in Firefox just because it probably will work. And All right, so... Okay, so our state now is on a ramp, which means that... That's actually kind of cool. The mesh helpers toggle is very neat. It just kind of shows the bounds of the generated meshes. So that is... Cool. All right, so we have no steering and we have no... Let's try to reset. And now our state is just stuck as on ramp. So, all right, hit the... <laughs> Welcome to the video. <laughs> All right, so uh, we are actually getting some level of side-to-side -side movement when I do the A&D, is that, if you recall, was like specifically for the balancing to actually happen while on the rail, which... So that's going to conclude this testing video. Now, unfortunately, I tried to get them to both go ahead and fix their results, and ChatGPT 5 Pro was unable to make any measurable level of improvement to this, where it was still unfunctional in terms of being able to actually move. <laughs> and in the same vein, but slightly different, Gemini 2.5 Pro DeepThink started to encounter a string of errors that simply would not go away. So whether it be something went wrong or it just said, I can't complete this request right now, I was unable to actually go ahead and do anything further with these. So truthfully, a rather dissatisfying result that leaves me kind of like frustrated. <laughs> but I figured since I spent the time deciding to test this, it was still some measurable result, which basically in my mind would show that um, these models are getting better, but unless you want to go ahead and use them in an agentic coding framework in which they can go ahead and iterate upon previously generated results such as these in a faster and more efficient manner, these are probably best used for like I don't quite know what to say, but overall, I just figured this may be a test that would interest some folks. It was something that I myself was very excited and interested in testing. So with that, that is going to conclude this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.